Welcome back to the channel. I am Part Sarthi, CEO of Vijay Robotics, and in today's video, we are going to build a conversational retrieval chain. In the previous video, we had tried to create a very simple retrieval chain in which we had given the LangChain documentation to the model and we were asking specific questions related to LangChain to the model. Right, but if you uh, want to build a chatbot, like you must have used ChatGPT or Gemini, what happens there is that the model is able to remember the previous responses and the previous questions and then able to answer based on those previous responses. We can tell the model, hey model, you said this thing in your previous response and then ask questions based on that. But you must have seen when we are using the API, we are, we are not able to do this, right? We are not able to make the chat history available to the model. In this video, we'll try to make this chat history available to our model. It will not be very much different from what we had done in our previous video. So let's get started. Before moving ahead, if you are new to the channel, like this video, share it and subscribe to this channel. So first of all, you load the open AI API key as usual. Uh, I will tell you again, you can store it inside a .env file and then execute this code. Right, and then we are loading our OpenAI model. We are using chat GPT model. We are not using any other model. You can use uh, Anthropic or Olama, right? So we'll be using chat GPT. So we execute it. Then what I'm doing, I'm, then I'm loading this web page. Okay, uh, you must have seen in the previous video, we discussed about the architecture of uh, retrieval augmented generation. If you're not aware about REG, you can check the video out in the i button. Right, so I'll not be discussing about it. So we are just loading it. Okay, and then we are doing the same thing we had done previously. We are importing our vector store, right, where we'll be storing our vector and the character splitter, which will split your document into uh, parts. And then is the OpenAI embeddings model, which will convert your text data into vectors. Right, and then you create an instance for this embeddings model, an instance for the text splitter, and then you split this document, store it inside the documents variable, and then you are creating your vector store, simply using this library, FAISS, right? Okay, you are creating your retriever at from uh, langchain.chains, import create retrieval chain, and then you create your retriever from the vector. Same thing as we had done in the previous video. Now see, we have done something different here. We are importing create history aware retrieval. Okay, which will create a history aware retrieval, which will be able to remember your chat history. Okay, and then you are importing message place folder and then chat prompt template. The message place folder will create a place folder for this variable chat history. Okay. And then there is the input and then given the above conversation, generate a search query to look up the information relevant to the conversation. Now what this create history aware retriever function will do, it will return you the documents which are relevant to your prompt. What is my prompt? My prompt is the input that I am giving. Right, it will generate the documents which are relevant to this query. Okay. And now let us... Uh, invoke this chain so i am first of all creating the chat history variable which is having human message and ai message now we are trying to create a dummy conversation which actually did not happen with the model we are trying to create it that can blank chain help in creating an lm application for my firm and then the ai message is yes now the info that i'm giving is what was my previous question okay now i'm testing my model whether it is able to remember the chat history okay if it is working fine then it will return me this question but not uh this time okay uh this time it will give me the documents which will be useful for this particular question so how we will return the uh, correct answer, the correct response, uh, let us do that. 
we are first of all importing create stuff documents chain okay and then we are creating the prompt template which is giving from the system side that answer the user's question based on the below context then there is the chat history placeholder and then the input then you are creating the document chain and integrating it with your history aware chain okay and then i am giving the same chat history okay can link chain help me build me my own llm application and then the ai messages yes and then we are trying to get the response from it right so it is giving me the output as your previous question was can link chain help me build me my own llm application right so this is how we build a conversational retrieval chain uh we made our chat history available to our retrieval chain which is going to be very useful when we will do the end to end project Uh, with lang chat because we will need our chatbot to remember the previous conversations okay so that's all for this video if you enjoyed this video like it share it and subscribe to the channel don't forget to press the bell icon thank you